Previously on chess, Toll found Capulet, a duke who turned to a chest. After his army restored Capulet back to his human form, the free went on an adventure to find the Arab people who turned to a chest, adding Rosie and Rax to their party. However, despite Zong's OP stats, the party found the worthy opponent in Heroin II, a powerful skeletal archmage. They just left a tavern to a cat like this? Huh? No one's at the counter. What's a snippet? To give a helping hand for a snow village singing competition tonight, I'll be away for a while. If you're checking in, the mayor has a key to help you. Bye, Ron. What casual way for running a business? Well, it looks like we have to get the key from the mayor. How can I help you? I'm here to borrow the key for the tavern room. Also, I'd like to know if there is a room for five. Yeah, we do. But hold on a sec. Huh? You got a bunch of guys in your party. Why don't you come join our singing competition today? Yeah, but why? You see, we don't have much people in this snow village. It could be uh, more fun if you join. And after, after all, the more the merrier, right? Let's think about it. What do we do now? Should we join? Of course. We can't run from it. Right, you go then. Consider it done. How about Zong, Rax, and Rosie? Uh, I can manage. I can definitely do it. Pick me. I've been struggling with normal talks. I suppose you don't expect me to sing out loud all of a sudden. I guess somebody forgot to join the candidate poll, am I right? Kale? Oh, when did you become so smart? I'm, s I'm not... Uh, well, I'm not joking when I say this, but I I'm a musician. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh... Send who the contest. I want to see every option. Though. Well, I'll reload anyways, so... Night Rosie is actually very talented, huh? Zong is also pretty good. Toll, we don't know. I'm gonna s you do Toll first, or should I save him for last? I think it's funnier if Toll does it because of his, because he's the fool, and therefore is unpredictable. Start with R Rax. You're, you're you're not joking. Fine, I'll go. Z. Hold on a sec. He just accepted like that so easily. I'm sorry. I feel guilty uh, for him. All right, here we go then. Okay, see you in the hall. Oh no, I better save in a separate slot. Ah. Oh. I wish it was- I thought it would just take me to the cutscene immediately. Well, so, show me what you got, Rex. There, you got a tough opponent. You alright, Rex? Uh, probability of win. Zero. Yes, but it's funny that way, right? Uh... Am I supposed to do some kind of button input? Thanks! Uh, <laughs> thank you, Lena, for her fabulous performance. Next we have Rax in the first performance. Oh boy, it's your turn. Now go. Yeah. Just gonna fall asleep on the stage, right? Greetings, everyone. Today I present you... Z... Z... Wait. He's asleep. That's what he meant by zero, huh? Incredible. He's able to sleep under such a situ uh, under, in such a situation. Well, he might be just not be physically well. Z... Huh? Did I just fall asleep? Sorry, where, uh, uh, where, what was I gonna sing? Sir, you didn't start singing yet. Oh, well, so I was singing my dream actually, and I'll start now. Z, Z. Incredible. He's sleeping like home, in the middle of performing on stage. What's more, with his eyes open. Time's up, let's introduce our next candidate. Snow Village Singing Competition has ended. Rex didn't win any prize. Wait, everyone gets a different prize? And he's... Uh, and he's not surprised about that. He just took it... Uh, uh, but he took it really peacefully. Which surprised me more? Rex, never thought you can sleep in such a situation. You're... Uh, uh, you're a real wonder. Z. Well, he's sleeping so deeply, it seems. Is Rex... Uh, uh, does Rex have some kind of physical condition? Z. Hello? Huh? Do you say anything? We were asking, are you having trouble with your physical wellness? Well, you can say that. My body is quite feeble. I'm sorry. You missed the price because of me. It's no big deal. Don't be so sad. Don't feel sorry about that. We didn't intend to join the competition from the very beginning. It doesn't really matter if we win or not. Are you born this feeble naturally? No, it's not. It's because experiments, right? Z, he fell asleep again. Speaking of that, let's go to the tavern then. I suppose Byron should be back. Let's go to the tavern and see if there's still room for five. Okay, reload and try someone else. I want to see... Wait, did I get the achievement for him? Yes, I did. Are you serious, achievement? Heh <laughs> heh. If Rosie has the best chance of winning, maybe I should save her for last. But dang it, I have a feeling Toll might give me something really good. Alright, next is Zong. I have a feeling his is going to be 
pretty a, a pretty much a normal performance. What? I said I could manage, but that's literally, only barely. 87 is still pretty good, isn't it? But you're the hero, there's no way you uh, uh, it, the villagers would be disappointed or desperated or whatever. Just because I'm a hero doesn't mean I have to help with everything, you know? I don't care, just go. Alright, here we go then. Okay, see you in the hall. Yes, let's see your 87% chance. It seems like you're actually pretty good at singing, even if you don't admit it. Got a tough opponent. Zong, you alright? Sir, I don't think so, sir. Come on, soldier. You're going to the battlefield. Yes, sir. I will try my best, sir. That's the spirit. Guess I gotta do my best to save my asses. Come on, think about what song I can recall. I'm so excited to hear what Zong will sing. Thank you, uh, thank you, Lena, for your fabulous performance. Now, next we have Zong's performance. It's your turn. Come on, go for it. Here, all right, here goes nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, today I present you with the one I j j just sung by Lena. Wait, what? Huh? You can't do that. Is that legal? Can you just use the same song as the previous contestant? That seems illegal. Hey, you can't be serious. He did say that he's going to sing the one just sung by Lena. He just remembered a melody, along with a full lyric. Can't believe it's a last minute effort. Incredible. Shoot, I must hold my laughing. Hold back your laughter? What happened? If you listen to it, he sings really well. I guess. He doesn't sing quite often. That explains why he came up with nothing to sing. Now you mention it, that could be it. Okay, Zong won third prize. He himself didn't expect the outcome. That surprised me too. 5,000 gold, I see. So, the, the, I should go with the best... I should save with the best result, huh? Zong, you got superhuman short-term memory. Yeah, I can see you holding back laughter. Thank you. Selena's first place. Referees seem to like the song. I reckon referees like the song. Darn, why are you so good at this? Because I can always manage to escape from risky situations. But, you really got a charming voice. Try another song next time. You definitely, you'll definitely you definitely get first prize. Is that so? Thanks. Let's go to the tavern to see there's still room for five. Yeah. Hmm, so this is only the third best outcome. Rosie would probably get first place, but Toll is unpredictable. Okay, Kale will definitely get second place if he's slightly better than Zong at singing. A reasonable choice. Just you wait, I'll make you cry with my singing. Great. Alright. Here we go then. Okay, see you in the hall. You nervous? Th why? This is nothing, but a piece of cake. Oh, I guess you used to perform in the Imperial Concert Hall quite often, huh? True, that's right. Okay, thank you, Lena, again. Next we'll have Capulet perform for us. It's your turn. Right. I'll sing the song Embrace of the Starry Night for you. What if he bites his tongue in the middle of the performance? What a graceful sound! It's so amazing! Definitely a masterful skill! A fusion of classical and modern music, huh? That was unexpected! And this only got second place! Damn! It must have bit his tongue in the middle! Amazing! It's nice, for real! Involved by this melody, it comes up with, uh, with imagination of a picture of a light tower on the verge of sea cliffs, underneath the starry sky. It suits well as a Z. He's still got it even after all these years. Uh, although style made me sleep once, he sings it. Uh, 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 he sings it very well, without a doubt. Agreed. It's definitely master class. I'm not surprised anyway. The snow building competition has ended, and Kale went first. What? But he only has a 90% chance. But then what about Rosie? She had a 99%. The heck is at least is with these statistics? It's not a surprising result after having listened to his masterful performance. Ten thousand for that outcome. Okay, let's go to Tavern Cedar. Still room for five. Yeah, Kale. Huh? You're seeing his freaking uh, Big Bang tier uh, 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 tier good. Thanks for the uh, flattery, but what's Big Bang Tier? Haha. <laughs> thanks. Yeah. Extraordinary indeed. Naturally, thanks. 
Let's go to the tavern then. I suppose Byron should be back. Yeah, right. All right, next. Uh, so if he's guaranteed first place, then what about Rosie? Rosie has 99%, so what's she going to get for this one? Ah, oh, come on, I'll kick your ass. Hold on a sec. Did she just take the nature of the competition wrong? All right, here we go then. Don't tell me she's going to punch Lena. Oh, no. Okay, see you in the hall. You gotta put up a moment here, Rosie. You alright? Absolutely. She's gonna do one of her stupid pranks, isn't she? Okay, thanks, Lena, again. Next we have Rosie and her performance. It's your turn. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Here I present you the Kagura Hymn After Equinox of Cherry Blossom. Seems she is doing it right. This song is uh, is unheard of. The style is also one of a kind. What's wrong, song? This hymn. It's the music from the Eastern humankind. Really? Maybe she's not related to the demon lord after all. Are you saying that Eastern humankind that lives on the, uh, 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 on the land of the world under the demon's control? If you begin to tr uh, trip her well down, you must go through the demon territory. Afterwards, across the mountains or through rocky reefs. So she really is related to demons. Right, that's what it takes to arrive to the so-called Eastern Human Territory. This, and this is one of the ballads from there. She might be a demon who's been there before, I don't know. Even I have not ever set foot in the land of war. Uh, war. Never judge a kid by its look, I guess. Right. And she's also older than most of you, anyway. Right, I'm also shaking. I can't imagine how much courage and grit it takes to make it. Whatever you say, she sings really amazing. Yeah. Does she think she'll get even bigger than first prize? Is she gonna get like even even more uh, of a uh, reward? Yeah, agreed. Amazing indeed. Right. Even I've been uh, awakened by the hymn. But what will Cole get me? He's he's a question mark. Although she always creeps me out, but can't deny she's a for formidable in some way. Oh, I reckon you got something into her. Uh, 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 something into her. Wait, that sounds dirty. Stop it, Toll. Judging my reaction, I bet it's a hit. Head already. Just now. Zong is totally uh, 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 low ground. He's got guts to trick a hero like that. Huh? Tri uh, tr okay, the competition ended. Rosie won first prize. Wait. It's not a surprising result after having listened to her performance. I think it's a fit title. But it's the same exact uh, uh, reward as... <laughs> as Kale. Rosie, you sing so well. True. That's very good. Nice. Thanks. Are you going to say something, Zong? You're her sub anyway. What do you mean her sub? I'm not into that. Anyway, you do sing pretty well. Thank you. I'm so happy. Let's go to the tavern then. I suppose Byron should be back. Okay. And last but not least is... It will be Tall. Question mark percent chance? No problem, because they're done. I doubt it. Alright, here we go then. Okay, see you in the hall. It's all, uh, you got to have a pudding. Are you alright? It's always alright, anytime. Alright, he seems pretty confident in himself. Let's see how strong he is as a singer. Thank, uh, thanks, Elena, for her performance again. Next, we have Tolan's performance. It's your turn. Aye. Today I present you the adventure type of golden retriever and black cat. Huh? A joyful song, and he sings so well. Why was his percentage a question mark if he's that good? That surprised me, I thought he was only bragging. The river made people's mood joyful too. Hang on, I gotta hold it, don't swing the tempo. I don't want to get laughed at by toll to death. The melody brought my drowsiness away. Oh wow, that might actually—he might actually be the best singer then, if he's able to uh, uh, take uh, away uh, 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 Rax's drowsiness. I can't tell why, but I get a feeling as long as Tolls here, my mood will be lighter, because he always likes to talk shit and shake up, and because his cooking is just so good. Right. Snow Village competition ended. Toll won special prize. Yo, <laughs> that's what. Uh, 
that's the power of the fool. People say it because of singing. It, he made Miss Marin, who's never smiled for 20 years ever since she's been bereft of her husband, finally smile and swung the ribbon. Yes, this is the best outcome. 12k gold. Let's go to the tavern then. I suppose Byron should be back. Toll, huh? You sing very well. Thanks. Are you rating it too low? It's actually Big Bang tier nice. Good indeed. Ha, huh, thanks. Let's go to Tavern Cedar, still room for five. Yeah. Yeah, I'm saving for it over this outcome. This is the best possible outcome. I knew Toll would have something special. I thought he was going to do something that crazy that would get me like a special item, but a little extra gold never hurts. Competition is over. Hall is closed. That guy looks slightly similar to the Prime Minister? Hell no. Shame the first prize was won by someone else. That's alright, we can try again next year. What's your name? Silly me, uh, trying to talk to a cat. Welcome. You must be called outside. Come rest by the fireplace. I'd like to rest for one night. Do you have a room for five? Aye, we do. For five people a night, it'll cost you 6,000. Oh, good thing we won that competition. If we didn't win that competition and we had no money, what would happen? I actually am curious. I I should probably actually reload and see what happens if that, if I do that. Here you go. Aye. I'll arrange for your room right away. Done. Here's the key. Go upstairs to the right. The room is above yours. Alright, Rumble. So you're hungry. Yeah. It's past dinner time already. But if you want, you can use the kitchen at the right-hand side. Thank you. Now I'm off to the kitchen then. Right. It's about time to have some meals. Me too. Count me in, please. Ah, sure. Let's have a meal together. A Coco King. Yeah, it really did cost money, but I'm curious about the outcome if I were to use... If I were to l spend all my money and then lose. Welcome. Okay. Room for five? Or I do. For f it'll cost six thousand. Two one gold. Looks like we don't have that much money. That won't be a problem. Take out. Takes out a coin of special style. It's my star coin. Ah, I see. I just inscribed six thousands worth with mana. You can do that? Oh, I got that. I'll reach for your room right, right away. Is it like a credit card? I didn't know noble men can trade this way. Of course. Like, if you're going to trade high-value items, you won't be carrying millions of coins with you, right? Kale, better watch it. Especially in an unfamiliar place. It's not safe to talk about how much money you own. Ah. Sorry. I forgot. Oh, that does lead to some interesting dialogue. Uh, basically, a magic credit card. Thanks for reminding me. Done. Here's the key. Go upstairs to the right. Okay. That... Yeah, I, I didn't even realize that. That's actually very clever. You even found a way to uh, account for it by uh, by giving by expanding on the world building a bit. Okay, back to the timeline where I have uh, uh, where I won a special prize. Hmm. Slice the shallot first. What quick slicing? Wow, the aroma must taste good. Nice. Then clean up the table. Here, go, here, here, here's the meal. Thanks. It's not feeling your appetite. It's not like that. It's every time I have them, it's making me cry. It's so delicious. Does a person like me deserve this kind of treat? Haha, <laughs> that's overreacting. It's indeed good, I reckon. I'm quite shaken as... Uh, uh, I was quite shaken as well the first time I had Toll's meal. We didn't seem to, uh, uh, to, uh, to be that shaken judging my reaction. That intrigues me, then. What was Zong's reaction when you had Toll's meal for the first time? Well, it was a snowy night. A flashback. I was just finishing my s sword training, so I went down to Shiver Mountains, hungry and frozen. So as I went to City of Ilk, I passed by a Tali Tavern and found out everyone there seemed so happy. So I decided to walk into Tali Tavern. Told the... Uh, uh, an employee at the time greeted me passionately. He came by and asked if I'd like to order hot scented tea. That was indeed what I wanted in my mind. Though we've never met before. <clears throat> then the hot scented tea was served. So I had a sip. It was really wonderful. Because of, the whole, uh, because of the wholesome warmth, I just fell asleep. You were sleeping till the tavern was closed that day. I, I put a lot of effort into waking you up. Rex, if you don't mind, 
I'd like to know if Rax is your real name. If you don't fit, uh, if you don't favor that, uh, you can call me Scar as well. Judging by how you treat your own name, I reckon it's not your real one. You're right. It's the alias I gave to myself. And why is that? Very well, I could tell you guys as well. Another flashback, back to back. My name is Rain Green. Almost every member of my family are royal scientists, and I'm no exception as well. But one time during the research process of an aircraft, I, I, my twin, I accidentally caused my twin brother to die because of an error I made in the calculation. I can't, uh, uh, I can't take it. If I go for, uh, for I, I'll definitely Z. He's asleep, so it's because he doesn't want to remember the past trauma. Hence, activating the body self-protection mechanism. In the meantime, refusing to let them just go, so in the end, he forcibly f uh, sleeps. Family, huh? Rosie, I'm sorry to ask, but I want to know if you're also living alone because of bereavement. Well, you're related to the Demon Lord, right? I. My parents left me early when I was a child. They've gone to heaven, I guess. I had a younger brother, actually. We're, uh, uh, we had each other's backs then. But... But... My brother. He's good-hearted, though. But everyone's... Uh, everyone bullied him. Everyone's bullying him. So he's... He got killed because of our kids. He killed himself? I hate myself for not being, uh, for not being able to stop them back then. If I were strong, if I were strongest in the world, he wouldn't have... He wouldn't have died. Why? If I were the strongest uh, uh, of the world that day, I could have protected him, and none of this would have happened. So this is the real reason you want to get strong. Yeah, so I must defeat Zong to become the strongest person in the world, so I can protect all those who I care about. But even the slightest chance that you should, uh, d you can defeat me, I'm not even a bully in the beginning. I'm not. Bu I'm not a bully. I'll put it straight. Actually, my status, my my status actually is level 99 already. Besides, other than luck, all my stats are 999 already. You guys can't see each other's stats? Like I said before, there's no way you can beat me. I'm not bluffing. I'm being honest. But if she reaches level 99, I think she'd be able to achieve a similar level of power. And her physical skills are actually more economical anyways. Then what should I do? Think about this. The strongest person in the world has made up his mind not to be a bully. So you, so you can challenge the second best or a third best anytime you want. You don't have to be the strongest in order to protect the others. Being strong enough would suffice. Judging by your condition, you only need to be stronger than those kids at a time. And for now, if you're stronger than aver the average person, you have a good ch uh, chance of uh, uh, being, uh, 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 defeating bullies and protecting the weak. Besides, I can tell that with the strength you have now, there's no doubt you can keep everyone safe. Zong. Thank you. I think I figured it out. That's good. Z. But I still think she'd be able to catch up with enough grinding eventually. If she hits level 99 through fighting strong foes, like that heroine. I finished my meal. It's, it was really delicious. I appreciate it. But still, that was a, I guess she really really wasn't a demon lord or, or anyone associated with her. Let's, uh, let's, let's clean up real quick and head for the room of stairs. We'll take a rest in the park tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> They're walking on the table. Wasn't there someone here before? It's been a while since we uh, since I've had a nice warm bed. The bed's quality is mediocre. It's just like the bed Zong's place. Pretty comfortable. So it's seductively comfortable. Z. Someone's asleep already. I'm going to sleep too. Good night. Night. Good night. You're watching, right? Huh? You? When I wake up these days, I always see you awake and sober. So I guess that you must not have slept well. Well, I still have slept for a little while. Kale. Don't worry. We got Zong here. Wherever Zong is able to sleep, it must be safe. If he senses danger, he'll wake up and take care of it. You might... You might... You're probably right. It's just that what we went through recently is just bizarre. So recalling uh, 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 this makes me... Uh, uh, gives me insomnia. I really appreciate it, Tull. If it weren't for you take, uh, take, uh, uh, taking me to, uh, uh, go, uh, taking me down a cliff to Zong, I might have lived the rest of my uh, uh, life as a chest. You've thanked me quite enough times. Come on. Tomorrow morning, we'll f find the last chest. After our journey ends, I hope I can still meet up with everyone. Tomorrow, after we deal with the Sunshine Shore, I'd like to invite you guys to visit Ophel Town with me. I'll bring you to my mansion and beaches nearby. That'll be nice. K. 
Kale, you sleep, uh, uh, sleep well so you can keep your energy up tomorrow. I'll go to sleep then, so don't stay up too late. Yeah. A night passed. Let's go to, uh, to uh, west of Snow Forest. Uh, west side of Snow Forest. Head, heading to Sunlight Shore. We're after a violet chest. Aye. There's somebody spotted a werewolf in the woods nearby. Oh, that's the next boss, huh? Come visit here more often afterwards. How can I help you? Where are you planning to go? Maybe I can tell the finger to about a place. Snow Forest? Yes, let's do it. What's the matter? I, I'm just wondering. There aren't many monsters in the snow forest. That's because of sing. Uh, that's because, must be because of the sing competition in the snow village, huh? The mayor of snow, uh, of snow village will go, uh, 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 go uh, will go to the snow and, uh, and and defeat monsters before the yearly event takes place. He's facing all the monsters alone. That's right. He's fine with that. He's the retired hero from the Luxies house. Oh, the Luxies house is the immortal hero, you mean? During the World War, the Luxies were given the mission to clear out the whole demon territory, while Zong was duty to eliminate the demon lord Rora. At least that's what I was told. So Mayor of Snow Village is one of the Eluxi's house. That's kind of sh a strange way to say it, but true based on the his uh, on history uh, on what we can read in history. Let's go ahead. Right. Maybe the mayor should join my party so I have a better chance. It's getting. Uh, oh no, the ch time is changing. Are we going to sub camp already? Someone's uh, around is in trouble. What? So there's a boss after all. Whatever, we, our team is very leveled up. We beat the uh, heroine who is an optional guy. We can beat a mandatory boss, right? To the south, someone's in danger. Let's head over there. Oh, I, I see there was a hidden passage. That's not very obvious. Seriously, what the hell? Back off, punk. Hey, what are you doing? Don't let's not even communicate. Let's get up. Okay. Face the abyss. Hmm. Freezing storm. Wait, what? That guy didn't even. I didn't even have to use a strong move. I just had my mage do everything. That was an experience and 800 gold. Pathetic. Are you alright? Thank you for saving my life. Hey girl, are you lost of your family? Uh, I'm not lost, there's no way home. Ah, judging on by the situation, I should give you a reward for saving me, right? That won't be necessary. We, we're not helping you for the reward. Thank you guys. This is a seaweed rice ball I made. Take it. This will help you on your way back home when you're hungry. Aye, you're so kind, brother. I wish I had a big brother like you. I'll be going home then. Song. Yeah, she's fine. His sense is so sharp. Seriously, why do they have... Uh, that's so weird. Why do they have the e e entrance like that? Why do they just make it... It's not that exposed. Uh, finding the entrance to that little uh, uh, section of the map was actually more difficult than the werewolf itself, which just died like a chump to my ice magic. Pathetic. You think a werewolf would have resistance to ice or something? Surely pathetic. Ah. Huh? My parents used to camp with me here. Just about time. I feel like I could use a meal. Why don't we eat a set camp here? Yeah. Alright, here you go. You'll be tonight's dish. Wait, what? You'll be tonight's dish? That, why did you say it like you were gonna eat them? S today's meal looks very different. It's chowder. Yeah, that's my parents' best dish. Back when we wandered and camped, this was always my favorite dish. So your parents are finally camping too? Heh, <laughs> of course. Not so. Huh? That's because my family... W was in serious debt, even with everything sold. So, so it's more like we were forced to go wandering and camping. But experiencing all those things, along with families, when we sleep together, it really gave me a feeling of happiness. That's why I really loved camping. That sounds like a harsh past life. I'm curious, wh why is your family in debt? That's because of me. When I was a child, I wasn't able to control my magic well. So to take care of me, Mom and Pop brought me together, finding jobs everywhere. Once when they were applying for nobleman's servants, I broke their valuable collections. The nobleman asked Mom and Pop to pay off the debt, and although we gathered everything we had, it still, was still far from enough. And then, they started to send gangsters to us to collect debts. We lost our home, we went wandering, working, and tried to pay it off. But, 
No matter how painful the life was, they didn't give uh, uh, me up that time. Mom and Pa told me also fairy tales when camping. Mom cooked so many delicious soups, and Dad was in charge of driving the bad guys away. Actually, I knew from the beginning that uh, 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 about their white lies. Pa, where you go? Pa, uh, Dad was fighting against the bad guys. Bad guy wasn't uh, 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 wasn't me the bad that bad guy. You didn't do it, uh, uh, but or Dad the bad guy in this situation. You didn't do it intentionally, so don't call yourself bad guy. I'm back. Oh, that wonderful son of chowder. You're back? Here, this one's yours. Pa, you want to know where I was? Yeah. I went to Sunlight Shore for some herb gathering. Didn't see that coming. See, did you? Really? You bet. I think it'd be nice if I put these seaweed into the soup. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The taste wouldn't fit the soup. But Pa, why are you having bru why you have bruises all over? Er, I got them wh while fighting sea monsters. Sea monsters, not the bad guys. Monsters, you're fighting bad guys. Er... Well, my stories uh, didn't match this time. Told such a smart child. I bet he's like me. Nah, he's like me, probably. Come on. I knew it, that they lied to me. Just because they don't want me to, to blame myself. At that time, we sold our properties and everything. Still, that's when I, uh, that's when, uh, when I f felt like a real home was. Even though I, uh, uh, even though uh, even though my wrongdoings led them in such a desperate situation, they still loved me as always. Really, it's a joyful my memory. Toll, his parents' names just mentioned, are Jaeger and Renka, if I remember correctly, with a tray of white and brown colored hair. Oh, don't tell me you're the one who uh, who put the dead on them. Oh shit. The char is delicious. I'll have another one. Uh, uh, sure, one more bowl coming right up. Kale, you too. Well, yeah. Here you go. Thanks. Yeah. So what the Violet Chester after? What's its personality like? A poisonous tongue. A poisonous tongue. That's so. But I feel she's a nice person uh, underneath all that. Yeah, when we got Sunburn on the waterfall, she casted healing protection to help us recover. We got scolded afterwards. How do you get Sunburn as a chest? I have an assumption. She's the Violet Chest, so basically that should represent her hair color when she was in human form. And Violet hair is rare seldom to be seen. On top of that, she's capable of using the highest tier healing. There's a record in the capital's archive within it. The records are those who are capable of using top-tier spells, but didn't go for examination in their traits. According to my hair trend, that record, I assume she's a legendary god healer, the healer descended from heaven to the earthly realm. She's a legendary uh, god uh, healer folks have been, uh, have, been, uh, have been gossiping about. Looks like she's been to a lot of places, too. But why is she, uh, why is she coming to the earthly kingdom? Not a clue. Guess we'll have to ask her in person. Z, uh, why? Why did you cry when you threw me down? Told sleep talking. Yeah. Now I realized he really cares about the past uh, 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 where he was thrown away. Ah, huh? Zong, Rosie, are you awake? Yeah. We're on the night watch. Are you alright? Yeah. Rosie, don't be like Zong. You're to sleep. It's no big deal staying up just a night or two. No, a kid needs a good sleep to grow bigger. Ugh, my height. Yeah, if you don't sleep, you'll be just short forever. Ugh. Fine, fine, I'll go to sleep. But she's older than all of you. I'm pretty sure she already, uh, she's, uh, she's already passed her growth spurt. That works better than my pleas. Good job, Toll. Heh. <laughs> so you're keeping ca the campfire warm. Oh, you noticed. So I know you're from the Never. But there's no... Uh, uh, you don't need to keep yourself overloaded, all right? The Never, not the human world. The Never. So that might explain why he's able to use dark magic, huh? No worries, I, got, I took a nap already. Bur you better... Ugh. Fine, enough kidding. I'll go back to sleep again. Also, uh, 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 and also, I'll think about tomorrow's breakfast menu. The night passed. How nice we can have such a delicious breakfast every day. Right, indeed. Let's keep going. Yeah. Alright, sunlight shore, huh? Enemy encounters again. It's hot here. Why don't you take your shirts off then? No. It's a matter of the ma uh, of manners. But well, what's so important with manners? An etiquette. It's just important. If you say so. Z. He can sleep even with such heat. He's just amazing. So this is the last chest. That's correct. What do we do after we find all the chests? After a chest hunt? After then, I'd like to invite you guys to my estate. It's just by the town of Othello. 
After we visit Othello Town, we can meet in Tully Tavern as well. I reckon I go there often since now. Uh, 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 Zong and Toll work there. Alright, that'd be nice. Huh. You didn't mean to set up pitfalls this time. Are you looking forward to my pitfall? I'm glad- I'd be glad to. Just forget it. Ha ha. Ugh, come on, don't laugh like that. A lot of crab people. Doesn't matter. They are giving slightly more experience now. Rosie actually leveled up from that. Could this be it? Empty. It must be the one. Huh? It's a mimic! This guy's a tr strong one. Ice! Dead. Easy. Toll leveled up. Okay. Why did you attack us? Have we met before? I suppose so, after we transformed the chest. I see. You're the blue chest, you're the green chest, and you must be the red chest. That's right. Well, why do you attack? Well, the name's Anzi. I've turned back, though. I didn't recall that I've ever asked for your help. I haven't forgotten how to dispel it anyways. I have my reasons. It's just not the time to turn back yet. Now they'll be aware of my whereabouts. I'll be in more trouble with your so-called help. Do you, do, you even, do you really think it was right real, It was right just to help people regardless of their in, uh, will? But you attacked us first. I apologize for that. Still, that was my intention to transform into a mimic. Judging by your, uh, uh, by, uh, by how you guys came this all this way to find me, I reckon your treasure hunters so I counterattacked. So as you can see, I lost and drained my SP, so I had no choice but to turn back. I'm sorry. Well... A capital can restore your SP so you can transform again. So what do you want? For, uh, uh, so, so what do you want after turning me back? Well, then uh, we'll take your leave. Looks like we uh, did uh, we we did, did something wrong. What do you mean? Now that my hideout is exposed, I suppose I'll leave the sunlight shore. Hideouts? Where are you hiding from? Seekers from heaven. Seekers from heaven? You? Oh no, we're gonna have to fight in, attacking the throne god, aren't we? Indeed. Long story short, I'm kind of in trouble now. The gods exiled me to the earthly realms. And friends of mine, uh, 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 and the and friends of mine haven't been helping with the appeal, so I lay low during the time my punish before my punishment's been been lifted. Oh, I'm sorry. We well, just ruined your plan. Don't worry about that. Since I'm bound to leave, it won't hurt to tag along with you just for a little while longer. All right, then shall we get go to the gar? See, wait, what? She can't join our party, can she? She really did. Six p party members. That's a lot. Level seventy, saving grace. Hmm, that way I don't have to delegate all the healing duty to uh, 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 to him, uh, to uh, 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 to Toll. That way Toll can focus on getting everyone's CP up. Forbidden Infusion buffs everyone. Vanquish, Protection Skill, buff a person with full evasion. Huh, that would be good to use on the mage. She actually has very high physical attack too. I think at level 99, she'd definitely be a match for the hero. Even the Demon Lord kneeled down for healing. The legendary god healer in the flesh. Yeah, she's even stronger than Rosie. The Rosie could probably surpass her with leveling. Maybe we'll run to angelic figures on the way out. Let's go. But still, a mighty party of six. It's gonna be really confusing with the ATB system, though. Really, just make it full weight. It's getting dark. Growl, growl. You hungry now? That's fine. Let's keep going. How about we make a stop here and sell our appetites? We got quite a ways to go, after all. The beach down there is good for setting up camp. I guess. Uh, I, uh, uh, I I I get I've got enough for a quick roast. That should do. No need. I gotta leave quick. That's so. The space becomes so. Uh, the space has become really sad. You know, it's not that urgent actually. It would be nice to have dinner with you before we set out. That's so. Off we go then. Let's set up camp. 
Here, uh, uh, here, I'll bring you what? Thanks. What the? Tolkien Castle Port. Incredible. Wait a sec, a lot of fire. Hmm, I still got enough butter and spices. Another pot of cream stew would be nice. Here we go. So scentful. Thanks for a meal. Yes. Aye. Thank you. It's good. I bet so. Toll, about the cost. I did a uh, quick math. I believe this meal will cost 12k, is that correct? You don't have to pay that. Why? There, there, I'm not working with the inn right now. I'm just, uh, just, just enjoying my time camping with friends. You split the cost of friends too, won't you? Ah, that's right. But I don't do that. Then how come? How come you treat us so kindly? I don't, uh, I don't get you, actually. Why why shouldn't one treat others nicely? It's not that you shouldn't. See? We'd be able to take advantage of you, wouldn't they? I don't feel that way, though. Huh? Again? What is it? The assassin from last time. Yeah, he's really here. He's hiding his presence quite well this time. Don't tell me he's gonna team up with the angels. I'll take care of it. Show yourself. Zong, you were mocking me like a kid last time. Come and duel me like a real man. Wait, what's that music? That sentenced your destiny. Damn it, change the music. Music, guys. That's more like it. Zong, face me and duel me fairly. Is that what you really wish? Yes, let's begin. Hey, wait. Wait, I'm not ready. You're just too quick. Didn't you just say let's begin? Ugh. Toll. Okay, teleport to hustle. Got it. They do this every day. That assassin. Can he really recover from that? He wanted to be by the demon lord Rora's side, so I sent his soul down below. That's so. What do you mean down below? To the Never's Abyss. Oh, you re imprisoned Rora in the Never? Oh shit, what if she breaks out? It's sure I defeated the demon lord Rora, but I didn't kill her. Instead, I teleported her to the Never's Abyss. What kind of place is the Abyss, actually? Nothing horrible as you may have imagined. It's just a vast place of nothingness. You can't break through it on your own. You can still walk, sit there. If you're clear of what's been barring you and ready to start anew, then you'll be teleported to Never for your final judgment. The Lord never will decide where you should go next. It's so different from what I've always thought. But, Zong, how do you know this abyss? And why are you able to teleport people there? That's confidential. You're the, are you the Lord of Never? Oh shoot. Come on, just tell me. Speaking of, Ans, I'm wondering, why do you come, uh, why do you come down to the earthly realm? Because I saw a person that they deem shouldn't be saved. Who might that be? I don't think you'd know her if I tell uh, you. It's the demon scientist Lolo. You know Lolo? What Lolo? You know her? Well, I heard her name, but not in person. I'm the chief scientist of the. I, I, I was once the chief scientist of the human side, where she's my opponent on the demon side. It's that. We're, we're in, in terms of topic of study, we went in different directions. Her expertise is destructive weaponry. Mine is uh, about technology for espionage and eavesdropping. I just heard she's gotten seriously ill. Didn't see that coming, so she's cured. Suppose the tapping device has been destroyed. That's so. So, I won't turn on any patient that comes to me. I never cared about the past of those who stepped foot in my clinic, since they lent their, uh, lent their trust to me and paid to cure them is my duty. But they tried that in Octopath with Alfin, and uh, one of his patients betrayed him. Right, that's truly healer's responsibility. It's just, I got kind of mixed feelings about this. Looks like I'll get tons of work when I get back to the capital. A human chief scientist. Ah, what? So you're at Rain Green. I've got a message from your brother, Wright Green. Oh no, my brother's in heaven. That's correct. Is he doing well? Can't be better. Flying around all day long. Watching his younger brother's new invention on the cloud. That's... Oh right, his message to you is... Quit blaming yourself. Drop that Rax alias. Indeed, something like uh, that's uh, what he would something he would say. Thanks. Drop my alias Rax, huh? I guess I'll somehow miss it. Well, he changed his name in the dialogue too. But all right, Rain Green. I need some time to adapt. But I will at the end of the day. The first step is to submit a license name change. What? You're feeling guilty to the degree that you even changed your your, your legal name? My journey so far next to your company has been the smoothest experience in my life. So I'd like to invite you guys sincerely to pay a visit to my humble estate by your fellow town. Yeah. Sure, thanks. Great, can't wait for it. Well, the capital is not far from a fellow town. Won't hurt to heed the summon a bit later. Anzi, I'll be honored if you could come along. 
That is, if it won't give you any trouble for, in terms of hiding from heaven. The reason they don't want to draw heaven's attention is because some of the gods uh, like to uh, are, are mischievous. Whenever it rains, they won't give up any chances that we be with lightning. That's naive. That's childish. Right? You think so too? Anyway, if I'm in a building of a fellow town, I suppose there's nothing they can do. I'll go with you then. It's a bit distant from here to a fellow town. I'll just teleport you guys there after we fill up our bellies. Right. I'll have one more dish. Please. Yeah. Well, that's not fair, Kale. You've had so much already while we were talking. I'll have another one too. No worries, we still got plenty. Who else wants some more too? I'll have more too. Can I? Please. Thanks. Who's looking at us from the north? What? Was that the ending? Don't tell me you were the final boss, uh, Anzi. Can't be. We didn't even get to use you in gameplay. Kale, is this your state? That's it. Turns out you're the guy who... Uh, uh, you're the guy who uh, who br breaks the state walls and made the Mana Restoration device open to the public. That's me. Let's go and drop our luggage first. Yeah. It's moving automatically. That is such a big house, holy shit. And it's even marked because it's so big. So the state was managed by magic. Magnified by magic. Yeah, it possesses the fundamental functions. What's the matter? Well, it's nothing. Let's head to the right corridor. There's a guest room for six. You can drop your luggage there. Alright. The magic system of this world is huge in scale. What's more, there are maybe many unknown schools remaining to be discovered. Till now, the known western magic systems are... Wind, fire, earth, thunder, ice, and water. The eastern counterpart is wood, fire, earth, metal, thunder, and ice, and water. Apart from these uh, uh, two major systems, there's also individual systems, like, for example, light, dark, never, poison, chrono. Despite the differences in the names of the two systems, the fundamental logic functions the same way. Basic mutual generation. Wood, fire, earth, metal, water. So that's the advantage. Ba mutual basic overcoming. Metal to wood, wood to earth, water to fire. Individual mutual overcoming. Wait, mutual generation means they help each other, actually. Oops. I'm not sure. This is very confusing. Mutual overcoming would be light and dark. The only universe can be categorized in the three worlds, which are heaven, the earthly realm, and the never. Despite the fact that heaven and never are inaccessible to us from the earthly realms, it has become a common consensus that among the human magic academies, that light magic and never magic originated from their respective realms. Huh. So confusing. Huh. It's very confusing. Man. Generation overcoming. Light Outstanding Individual Li Ao Key to light magic lies majorly in transferring energy as to achieve spiritual interference. Healing magic of the light system functions in the same way that the caster transfers energy to the target, activating the target's own self-healing factors. The light energy is compressed and projected. It can also manage to inflict physical damage. The projection speed of light magic is barely untraceable. Uh, untraceable. People can almost only notice being aimed right before being hit. Mind control is derivative from light magic. Dark Outstanding Individuals Demon Minister Emit energy to interfere with the macrocosm, moving, destroying objects, and laying physical deception. After casting, a dark fang appears and hunts on the uh, object. Dark magic can also serve as healing methods by overdriving the physical healing factors at the cost of the target's life energy. Demons have long life expectancy, so a decade deduction from a few dozen is simply trivial. The derivative system from dark magic is highly controlled, controlling arts in the physical meaning. Never, outstanding individuals like Zong teleports to touch objects to the never. The uh, size of the touch object is equivalent to death in the earthly realm. Can ca cast upon the arm, the arm is equivalent to death and unusable. Cast upon the organ, it becomes dysfunctional even if it looks intact. It's possible to revert, to, uh, uh, revert to direction, teleporting never objects to the earthly realm. So I can summon monsters to the earthly realm and teleport them back when finished. It's more of a channel between the two realms, rather than a power of destruction. How can we never summon monsters in, uh, in battle, though? You could summon, like, a big boss monster to fight other bosses. That'd be so cool. Chrono, ascending individuals, toll. T tell professor and ma other magic systems, almost instantly. Can maneuver the flow of time and stop briefly. Extremely rare magic system. Currently, Toll is the only wielder found, and possesses uh, extreme danger to the earthly realm. Due to this potential to cause harm, plus the brief background of Toll, he's been listed in the extra care protection and surveillance per person by the human department of police. Really? 
A Luke sees. The young boy with orange hair, short, uh, 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 orange short hair, red bandana, and eyes of determination has walked through countless death and, uh, deaths and reborn in the battlefields. Eventually, warded off the monster armies and succeeded in defending the folks of well down. The Luxes are most specifically the houses of the Luxes, a lineage of extremely rare blood. The origin of blood can be traced back to the time when demons were still running amok on the well down continent. So the fact that humans can contend against demons with their physiques and equipment, demons on the other hand are more masterful to make use of their respective traits to perform joint strategies. For example, the swamp terrain can be challenging to humans. However, for demons, lizard men can serve as trailblazers, harpies as scouts, ice face to pave the frozen flat ground, and finally, mighty orcs could rampage on flood and service. At that time, humanity was in peril. Is at such a time, grand sages, strong warriors from humankind, devoted their own mind and strength for the greater good. And such power has become a life form of transcendental, uh, transcendent spiritual energy. The quintessence of it to defeat demons and protect humans. Whereas the only one who was capable of carrying such massive energy, his name was Eluxes. Eluxes, the concept is hence born. Of Eluxes, he stepped towards the battlefields. The massive energy he carried was so huge, that even though he was killed by orcs, he was able to be reborn again. Every time he is reborn, his connection to the energy is deeper, serving the will to defeat the demon and protect the humans, even deeper again in his soul. Definite rebirth. Uh, we're in, uh, again through times, uh, 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 through countless times. Souls tied together with spiritual energy. Every death is a stepping stone for the next rebirth. Ensuring the same strategy to utility for him. In the demon's eyes, the reborn Eluxes can no longer be called human. He's notoriously called among he demons, a walking calamity, flying herald of death. Under Eluxes' overwhelming power, humans, uh, demons were driven away from the world of the continent and fled to the northern worst continent, literally the worst continent. In the end, the rest of the demons no longer appeared in Eluxes' sight. Luxis finally stopped his onslaught. Still, the legend of the rebirthing hero is yet to end. The power overwhelming and nowhere to disperse. Luxis was given the quest that he must pass this energy on until its depletion. Luxis did inherit the power, first becoming the house, uh, 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 a house. For in its lineage for every generation, a 16 year old child will be picked as a candidate by the will of energy itself. Where, uh, how she used to look, be it tall, short, and chubby, sk or skinny kid or not, when he or she becomes a Luxis, the appearance will become identical to the hero Luxis. Such inheritance also equipped the Luxes after generations of maneuvering, with the knowledge to command various arms and master spells of different elements. With the, when the mission of inheritance is finished, the older Luxes will turn back to the 16 year old child he or she used to be at once. Only with that old, older experience, the older Luxes may also be troubled by a drastic appearance change, thus resulting in a few confusion in relationships. For example, some Luxes of the Tully Tavern of a certain city. Eluxes is the evidence of a trying time, so their existence, uh, very existence reflects the cruel nature of the human. Some say in this beautiful time, Eluxes is no more than an ordinary adventurer. They flee from the battlefield. They'd be left behind by comrades. Eluxes is overrated. Despite that, the writer has the opposite opinion. Eluxes, is, if anything, can live an ordinary life as an adventurer. A, a, a mere payback by a peaceful era itself. To the child Eluxes, what he deserved for his sacrifice. The young boy with orange hair, red bandana, eyes of determination, has walked through countless depths and was reborn on the battlefields, eventually warded off the monster armies and succeeded in defending the folks of the well down. The Luxies, let us hope this strategy won't happen again. Huh. I feel like this. Uh, there, there might be other games in this series that might explain more about this, huh? Sounds like this is gonna be like a, a, a huge series, maybe? I don't know. There's just so much. Uh, there's quite a lot of world building that I didn't expect here. Mary! Master, you finally came back. You, didn't expect to clean up the, uh, 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 for this long. I didn't expect you to clean up uh, even after this long. Master, you have guests home. I'll go right, uh, I'll prepare a meal right away. Alright. We'll drop our luggage. Later I'll tell you, you how many people you should prefer, uh, uh, you need to prepare dishes for. Alright, I'll wait for your instructions at the dinner hall. Thanks. A wooden chest? You can drop your luggage here. Wait, what if that chest is a person? Hold on! Hold the phone, got it! Kale, you're concerned about this just now. Yeah. It's been a long time since I came home last time. The floor is still clean and tidy. So that made me wonder. Now that she's here, that explains why it's so tidy. Cleaning up this whole state all alone. Without, is she still getting paid though? Like automatic payments? Maybe that's why. And even the tiles shine like mirror. Is this ordinary? Is it not? Definitely not. She'll get exhausted. You ought to find our person to split up the workload. Ugh, I'll find our hand while I'm back at, uh, 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 wait, uh, wait, I have more time at the estate. That's it. That's the spirit. Guys, can you stay in the estate? You can get, stay in the estate right around town, wherever we do. Just let me, uh, be sure to let us know before you leave. I'll have a, I'll sleep here and set up to the capital when I'm awake. I'll go to the side room for some books. I'll hang around the estates. I'll go shopping in town. I, so I'm going with me to the weapon shop. Pick up, pick me up, a, uh, get me a dagger so I can beat you. That's, um, that, that's mission impossible. Impossible is nothing to me. Haha, <laughs> Zong, don't underestimate her. She may really be able to beat you. 
Don't you forget, your power is suppressed in the earthly realms. She could make your hit point get to zero single-handedly, dude. Ugh. That makes sense. See, Toll's uh, is on my side. Yeah, go on your own then. Just go, 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 get back to for dinner on time. Yeah. Oh, he's by himself? I'm a little nervous now. I really am suspicious that box is going to turn out to be a person. Toll, Kale, have you decided what's for dinner yet? Are you going to cook? Yeah, and try to help that servant girl. She'll be overwhelmed if she takes all these on her own. Well, I appreciate that you want to help, but I think I let my guests do the kitchen work. Come on. Now that you're at your place, we're no, we're no strangers either. You can cut off these manners. This, this etiquette. When I see her cleaning this big estate all alone, I just decided to help her. Well, yeah. Cream veggie soup. That's my gut feeling. You must be longing for today's dinner. You know me too damn well. Speaking of which, Toll, what is it? Actually, I... Huh? Actually, you. Actually, I've written some letters to investigate. Your parents did with data and whereabouts. Huh? Ah, almost forgot you're a duke. You can ask for data from the government. That's correct. But what's... Why are you acting shy about it? Well, it feels guilty to investigate your personal data like that without your permission. That's a weird point you care, uh, to care about, I'd say. Your family is at... Hmm, they're there, huh? After we finish dinner, I'll go find them, then. Bring me together, then. Sure. Deal. Huh? Sorry, I was focusing on the book. Anything I can help with? You're reading the Compendium of Herbs. Yeah. There, there are medicinal herbs in the earthly realm, which don't, don't grow in heaven. I, uh, I roughly understand uh, how they work when it comes to healing. I actually have a question, though. How's heaven actually like? Personally, besides the location being over the cloud, the air spinner, there's not much difference compared to the earthly realm. People who reside there, the ones you call gods, have feelings and desires, like how morals do. They get, they'll get angry, get sad as well. Just don't, uh, they're not prone to selling things with violent measures. But you said gods will try to light, lightning strike you. Just because they don't, aren't prone to doesn't necessarily mean they'll ne they never will. But don't worry about that. I'm a god as well. Even if they strike me with lightning, it's nothing but tickling to me, more or less. Anyway, they kept borrowing me when I was working. It's quite frustrating when I have patients visiting me. Not so. Are you planning to get ba go back to heaven? It doesn't matter. Wherever I am, it doesn't mean much to me. But it would be nice if the lightning strike prank could be s uh, uh, would stop. I'll keep focusing on my reading then. Yeah, sure. Oh, fellow town. It's quite big. We're going to be kind of awkward when I left without explaining. My brother's, big brother's severely injured. Is there any medication to get him better? Will Apple do? Maybe our healing uh, 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 party member. Ah, Duke Sweetie. Come uh, to oversee the day too. Every time. I told you, don't call me Sweetie. Ha ha. Don't be so mad. Morning. How, how are you do, uh, doing? I bet you're going to cafe today as well. The urban piece looking from the cafe is quite good. I'll also bring some hot, uh, uh, some bottles of tequilas. Ah, oh, morning. What can I do for you? For you? My restoration device. Morning. It's like forever since the last time I saw you. Good day. I'm going to get some de uh, from the uh, Adventurers Guild. Some quests. Seems too peaceful. Something's about to go down. Sir Capulet, can I have a favor from you? I heard that you and the Master uh, uh, Sheriff were high school classmates. Would you be so kind to let me know how to get in touch with him, please? Huh? Sir Capulet, what would you like to buy today? Not now, thanks. Sir Capulet, what would you like to buy? Not now. Maybe later. It's just a few days to your birthday, right? I know the story uses Ward. So I brought, uh, so, so I brought, uh, bought when you, uh, so I brought it here. Pick when you like, huh? I thought I was supposed to pick a dagger for you. Instead, you're gifting me a new sword. It's a prank. You'll still pick a dagger for me, but that later. Hmm, I see. Just pick a better one. I still have plenty left from the last uh, dragon hunt duty. Well, since you're gifting me a sword, I'll gift you a dagger too. Then we're even. All right. Rosie, yeah. If you pick a, just pick a bad sword. Won't you have a better chance to beat me? That's so, but. I don't say it's a glorious victory that way. I'd rather have a fair fight. Very well. I like the spirit. You looking? Yeah, looking. What type do you prefer? I prefer lightweight swords with sharper edges. I can perform a quick swing with that and have better variety in the offensive angles. So you're a rapid attacker type. Well, 
I do favor instant burst damage style, but it doesn't mean I can't handle a sustained battle. Darn. If I could wear you out in a prolonged battle. So, have you ever met an even match? There's one far above my strength. Who is that? My dad. He's the son of the Lord of the Never? How strong is he? He's not in the earthly realm. If he's right here right now, it wouldn't be a problem to destroy the whole uh, 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 world. I reckon your dad's really overpowered. But it doesn't matter. I'll be the second to beat you. If you want to beat me, you'll train, have to train for six centuries first. Six centuries just to get a level 99? I'll beat you when I'm alive. Rosie's different from what she used to be. I mean, for real, it took a lot of effort. Finally, he pulled out that ra put out that radish beast out of the pot. Is radish beast a plant or animal? So he did it in, in, in so he did in that time. Hmm. Snowdrip coffee with baked breast sounds good, ju just good. But I want to try the snow white black tea too. We like to order, sir. What do you feel like drinking today? Damn it, damn it. That emerald necklace on uh, from the commoner. It's just like the one I had in my childhood. Those bloody commoners. They broke my necklaces, and I never hired a scoundrel to beat me. A jewel may be broken by a commoner. What told once said he broke an old man's collection. Could it belong to Marquis and Kleiner? Why, Sir Duke? When do you get by my side? It doesn't matter. Just keep going. Hoop, I got nothing to tell you. I got nothing to tell you. Seems like you're finding more information out of him. Dang, should've just punched him harder. Good day, Sir Capulet. I'm on patrol now. Morning, Sir Capulet. It's the reason to see safe and sound. People were worried when you went missing. Procuring groceries. This one's checked too. Um, what do we have now? Ah. Morning. Glad to see you. Excuse me. Why, welcome. Oh, it's not a cafe. It's a mayor. What's the... Uh, so what's been uh, Ophelia Town been up to? We're about to hold a joint art exhibition this month. Here's the flyer of the event. I see. Is there anything I can help with? Sir Capulet, would you like to lend a helping hand? That doesn't sound normal f for you. What do you mean? What's all the shock? Just what kind of person do you take me for? Well, gifted, perfectionist, but scrupulous to an extent. Self-oriented and cares about your, their, your own interests. A cold and prideful Sir Capulet, I suppose. Turns out I'm the kind of person I don't even... Uh, uh, I didn't realize I was being perceived that way. That's not correct. Shouldn't you be reacting like, whatever you say, it's none of my business. Listen, I'm not uh, uh, talking the way you want me to, alright? That's it. That's more like the Sir Capulet we know. That's upsetting. Sir Capulet, you've changed. What on earth happened to you? Mayor Frora, have I really changed? Sir, are you asking my opinion? That's right. You really changed a lot, sir. But I say in a good way. Though I don't know what you've been through, I reckon it's good right now. That's so. Sir Capulet, I appreciate your help. If there's anything we need help with, I'll make sure to let you know. Well, fine then. Huh. Yeah, it was kind of hands-off before, wasn't he? Sir Capulet, thank you. Caleb, okay, visit Patelli Tavern afterwards. I'll give you a petite dessert. If you didn't find me, don't find me in Patelli Tavern. Go to shore around Ilk City. Dining hall? Mary, I'm more than thankful that you ca came back. Master. I thought there'd be no one, and I was planning to sell the house after quickly cleaning it up. No. Huh? I like it here. This is the best job of my life. You have rescued me from, uh, uh, you rescued me from the blizzard. There's no way I would leave. Did I? I totally forgot about that. Well, that's alright. Anyway, thank you. Master. Master's changed. You laugh more now. Huh? Did I really change that much? Of course. The one you just asked. It's never unheard of from the master in the past. Unheard of? That's so. Are you ready for your meal? Yeah, we'll need seven portions today. Is the seventh guest on the way? Nah, it's you. Huh? I'll have it in the servant's room. Don't, come on, don't be shy, okay? But you can take the meal in the servant's room if you want. No, it's not like that. I'm so happy. I never thought I'd have a chance to have a meal with master and guests. Well, let's have a meal together then. Yes. Talk to Mary when you're ready for a meal. Okay, so talking to Mary advances the story, but I'm a little nervous. But there's really nothing else I can do in town. Almost everything is blocked off. Are you ready? Let me think about it. Yes, prepare for a meal. Yes, please. Yes. Maybe we'll get attacked. It's delicious. They're so good. Thank you, Mr. Toll. If it were not for your help, I wouldn't be able to prepare all these dishes so quickly. No need. 
Well, Song, you're not going to drink. Totally, you know that. Yeah, and that makes it extra fun, doesn't it? Doesn't it? What are you talking about? Song is powerful in every aspect. However, there's a super big weakness there. What is it? I want to know. He can't hold his liquor. I'm curious too. That is, he's super bad at drinking. Last time he got drunk so, so quick with only a half glass of peach cocktail. And he's so broken, crying with his face all red and said like, I want to leave you guys at Tully Tavern. I'm not going to fight Demon Lord Rora. Ugh, toll. I think Zong had such a, a, a hidden side to him. What heavyweight gossip. Just kill me. So, Zong. Let's have some fruit. Ahem. I mean, juice. Never. I'll have drinking water, please. Fine. Drinking water, then. Huh. It's ten about time to get back to work. You don't like it? I wouldn't say that. It's just... The days are happier with you guys around. When back to the capital, I'll face super sh I'll face strict supervisors and urgent matters from noble clients. I don't feel like doing that. Well, I can kind of relate to that. Anyway, that's the thing I should adjust myself to. A anyway, thank you all. I'm relieved to know my brother's doing well in heaven. Moreover, I've talked out what's always been on my mind Snow Village. I feel like I've, uh, uh, I've lifted quite a burden from my mind. Rain. You come to, uh, if you ever feel sad, I'm always here to listen. Thank you. I'd like to send my gratitude to you guys co uh, for, for accompanying me. Thanks to you, the whole journey was safe and joyful. I'm happy too. It's like a school trip. Now that you say, uh, uh, when you say it like that, we do. Uh, it does have. Well, they do have a lot of things in common. We have campfire nights on top of that. The campfire is not an extra. More like it's the essence of this journey. What's the, the proof of it? Is it because the meal's too good? Well, that's what I'm about to say. Ha ha. Okay, but what's the catch? This can't be the ending, can it? Zong, let's fight. Is this really the ending? I want to know how big the gap is between you and me. Alright, come the, on then. It can't be it, because we didn't even get to use Anzi in battle. Translator, Grey. Yeah, I might want to work on that translation. Is that really it? I feel like there's so much more to this world. Dude. There's so many locations. It feels like you could really get an epic RPG going here. Wait, is that Anzi? Did she go to the top of the waterfall? I guess she figures no one's going to find her there. Not easily, at least. Dang. They even had, like, a super complicated element system! And you're telling me th th this is it? Toll. Three, two... Oh, he's... Uh, Kale, you're too slow. He's working at the cafe now. More like you're too fast, you know, since you can teleport. Well, I can teleport. There's no need to rush. They won't run away, though. I, uh, I bet you've been over the moon. Sure, sure. Thank you, Kale, for finding my parents. Love you. Shut up. That's giving me goosebumps. I mean, for real. Really. Thank you. Are we gonna talk to them and see what, uh, uh, to learn uh, what the, their, uh, what, why they abandoned him? Why I threw him off a freaking cliff? Off we go to the family reunion. Yeah. Do we actually get to see this, uh, uh, see the whole cutscene for this? Or not? Wait, is that his sister? Kale, you didn't tell me that. Who's that girl? Huh? So your parents have never, had another child afterwards. Ugh. Now, I don't know if I should go talk with them. Why not? I can't tell, but they look so happy. Toll. I respect your decision. It's up to you, where you'll go or not. I... Wait, do I have to make a decision? He teleported. Where could Toll be? I remember Zong saying he could sense Toll's whereabouts. And Toll said he'll be in... The shore. What? Toll. Zong? Ugh. Toll. I was so worried about you. Zong, aren't you able to sense where I am? But... It's the edge of the cliff near Il of the Ilk Shore. This is where your parents dropped you. How can I leave you just like this? Under a situation... Under such a situation. I don't need to worry about me. I might not be smart, but I won't do silly things. Here, I got handkerchiefs. Cut it. Cut out. I got mine too. Alright, alright. Just wipe your tears away. What are you talking about? Uh, uh, that's sweat, not tears. Got it. Sweat from eyes. Legit. No! What, should I, what am I gonna do with you, kid? You'll cry alone here every time you're down. Everyone in tower, uh, Tail Tower knows that. What? You mean everyone literally? Just how many years have you been working here? They just want to give you your privacy. They're not coming for you just because they want to see you uh, uh, have peace of mind. Everyone's actually worried. Hey? Song. Actually, I hate the night. I know that de uh, that dead sure. It... Reminds me of... 
The night my parents threw me down a cliff. You're telling me. <coughs> Come on, you're ruining the atmosphere. I'm about to drop tears. <coughs> just cry if you want to. Why not? <coughs> if you just whisper at me like, there, don't cry. I'll be crying like hell for sure. But what do you j just tell me to cry? Like, uh, 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 so nonchalantly. Go ahead. You cry. You can cry. I can't anymore. Just, I just can't believe this. Ah. Come on. Come into my arms and cry. You're making me laugh, to sh uh, laugh my ass off. Does it count if I cry out of joy? They've thrown me away. That, f that fact is carved in stone. So they've had, and they have a, a new family now. I don't want to break into the. the uh, I don't want to ruin their ha current peace and joy. After all, it's me who broke the noble's jewel. So they're forced to one. Uh, they were forced to wander uh, uh, endlessly. But I hate the night so much. Yet things started to turn after meeting all of you guys. Like I already got used to traveling alone. Turns out people are willing to travel with me. Uh, travel with me. What a miracle, isn't it? The night was so painful, so saddening. But with you guys around, it started to become uh, 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 it started to become less painful. Just thinking what uh, what meals I should serve for everyone, how to keep you all fed, and calculate the amount and quantity. Seeing how, uh, how you are satisfied makes me re re relieved from the past pain. I mean, the trauma is still there, but it's like not as painful as it used to be. Kale smiled. Rosie uh, 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 shocked. Uh, uh, Rain's awakened and Anzi stayed. Well, Anzi's at the top of a waterfall now. What's more importantly, uh, what's more important? You're here. The ever vigilant hero who's always keeping uh, everyone safe, mindfully, has finally slept. You wouldn't know how excited I am to see that. Your first one ever. I feel I can lower my vigilance around. Toll. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Kale. You. Just. You can take a rest now. Toll. Well, actually. Ha. Huh. I know it. I know why. They. Ha. Huh, free you down. I just. Asked. Them. Kale. Ha. Huh, told you. Ha. Huh, need rest. Stop making me panting. Oh, you're in your briefing pattern. Good. That's upsetting. I put so much effort for you, and you're making a joke of me. So what do they say? You're asking me? I don't feel like telling you now. Just go and ask yourself. Ugh. So he's giving me those puppy eyes. Ask yourself. Sheesh, my puppy eye strategy failed. Hm. I suppose you're not ready, then. You can go f to them when you're ready. I believe they'll wait for you. I will. I'll definitely let you know when I'm ready. Yeah. Sounds like a sequel, and that's just now. That fast? Come on, I, j j I just saw that you brought them here already, Kale. Huh? Ah. I thought that they were, they were at least hiding somewhere. Turns out they don't know how to, uh, how to how to take cover, just like you. You can, you can you're, you're rather blunt, aren't you? Of course. But what's wrong with that tone? Uh, uh, as if I'm talking to a child. I used to work in the in the kindergarten, you know. I reckon it's because Kale's just too cute, so I can't help it. Stop calling me cute. All right, all right. The most most not cute uh, uh, non cute person of the world. The most uh, uh, the least cute person, Kale. I got the, I got it, I got it. That's a double negative. Remove one negative expression in that sentence. Toll, don't just disappear for no reason, you know, uh, you know? Er, okay. Toll, Renka. Pa, pa, Ma, why at the time? We couldn't find you in the clearing there. But now, we finally found you. Ah, so you're... You're trying to hide him. From the assassins. Those gangsters came from a dead again. And pa Ma and Pa were trying to hide me in the clearing by the cliff. <laughs> brother Toll. So you're my real brother. I'm so happy. Let's go back home together, brother. Ugh. But what about... But the, the Marquis who uh, you owe a debt to is still alive, so... Did you, they sell that debt off screen? Finally, we found you. How did he disappear? I guess because he teleported. He must have teleported some distance away, and they couldn't find him. Finally, we found you. You didn't give up uh, uh, after all this time, and, uh, and that's the same for us. From now on, whenever you disappear, we're bound to find you. Whenever you're desperate and fall to the bottom of a cliff, we'll catch you. Let's go home together. Wait a sec. I can't hold it. I'm gonna cry. Just cry then. Huh. Take that tickling attack. Hey, wait. Toll. The happiness it won't fade away. I still look forward to having your veggie cream stew tomorrow. See you in Tail uh, Tully Tavern. Yeah. Uh, but... Dang, I thought there would be uh, more to the story after recruiting Anzi. 
A stream of cold breeze, uh, sea breeze flows straight up the cliff. Stars eliminate people's hearts. But I'm glad they at least re uh, resolved that plot thread for a toll and gave him a happy ending. Just the end. Feels like there should be a sequel where they all go on adventures. All six of them. Or maybe... Huh. Seriously, I... Uh, why did we recruit Anzi if she's just not gonna fight anything? There wasn't even a boss or anything we could fight. Extra. Hang in the Tully Tavern. Wait, what? I'm a cat! Premium kitty? A level one? Weak. Kitten as precursor in the pr premium. What? Maybe it's not really over. Andre? Meow. I want to get to know you more, Neon. Is that so? I'm more interested in you than you are in me. Kuro the speaking shop cat. What do you want to know about Andre? Character profile. Calm, steady, scheming. He understands how to turn situations under his control. And also possesses extraordinary leadership and perception. A performance, an effective, a result-oriented person. Capable of making the best decision in the shortest time. He's able to spot the essence of the mission and target. Once spotted, he won't let the decision be affected by his personal feelings. Always cuts to the point and, uh, and expresses his opinion and target directly. As a pragmatist, he hates to waste time. Though he's always busy, he, always, he managed to maintain some hobbies like reading and thinking. Doesn't do well when it comes to deciding art related policies. Pat. What's the matter, Crow? Meow. I want to know you more. I see. What do you want to know? Everything. Not a kitty? I still want to keep that mystic trial on, eh? Well, then, Mr. Mayor, do you sing well? Oh, sing of that. Every time he joins the singing competition, he's always the first place. So we want to give a chance for everyone to win first place. He retired from the competition and started to encourage people to join. Wow. Hey, Crow, here you are. Now, I want to get to know you more. Get to know me, you say? Weren't you part of a, an ancient bloodline? Listen, oh, listen up. Where are the elixirs, brother? And you guess who's the bigger one? Oh, can't tell, Neon. That's me. Heh. <laughs> wow, I thought so too. Because of your battle scars, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Lena? Well, looks like she wants to pick songs. Archmage. That guy is seriously the only real boss in the game? Seriously? Chest beam. Although Lena's been a bit of a trickster uh, 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 in normal days, she, uh, back in the past, she's really good at singing. Kuro. Meow. Aton. The developer, the offer, right? I have questions for you, Nia. Alright, ask then. Character's alternate route? The alternate route, huh? If considering only scale of this title, Zong will get together with Rosie and Kale with Mary, and for Toll, he'll be with his family. Rax and Anzi would be roommates. As for how Zong and Rosie should progress afterwards, Zong will take Rosie to Never after having her approval. Then they'll settle down in the capital of Never, the city of night. There he'll have a daughter through Never's unique way of having children, the DNA cultivation. Moving onward, after a long time, the present Lord of Never, Koran, will retire. Zong will succeed as the new Lord of Never, and actually Rosie becomes the queen. They will hold, uh, 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 they will sh uh, roll the Never together. Rax and Anzi keep their relationship as roommates. They live together because their minds and personality face each other, but not in a sexual way. A platonic way. So they interact like ordinary family members in normal life. If I were into BL roots uh, uh, in, uh, at the beginning of drafting a story, I'd say I'd totally be shipping with Kale or Zong. Probably. If anything, there's a slight chance Zong would be with Vic. Wait, who's Vic? That's a Vic's not present in the remake, so he'd only show up in the test for Vic. If Toll's shipping with Kale, they'll both play top roles. But more often, Toll will be the bottom one. If Toll's shipping with Zong, it may be surprising, but Toll will take the top role. Zong's actually, uh, Zong's actually has the hidden face of needing to be taken care of. As for Zong shipping Vic, they'll be the, both be the top roles. Vic's the top role most of the time, but in, but in fact, he suffered from the monolocton syndrome. And on top of that, he can take the bomb only because the partner is Zong. Talking about some points I really wish this remake to include, it's the presence of Garrett and Lolo. This is because they're rather, they have a rather important role in the later stage of the game, whereas the remake has decided to end the game in the earlier part of the story. Wait, it's a remake of an earlier game? But you... There, that means there was supposed to be more content. Does that mean there's going to be a sequel? Chess 2? Anyway, there are always moments to continue the story. In the future, I've got enough time for creation. I'd be interested to release more free or paid full story, uh, story full uh, DLCs. I really wish I could say something like stay tuned and get ready for a new product. Who can tell about the future? As for myself, I say please don't put too much hope in me. Dang. Doja and Derivative Works. If you want to make any Doja and Derivative Works for chess, please feel free to. Please write more Doja no uh, uh, novel and artworks for me. Your plays are what keep me going. Passive chess. The reason why I started making games is because I didn't have friends when I was little. 
I found this RPG Maker engine, so it's like, making games sounds so cool. When I become cool, I can make friends, right? I started learning how to make games just because of this stupid reason. After decades, I realized I really enjoyed the progress of making games. I used to make games only for my families and classmates, until 2010 when the social media started, boom. I posted the first beta version of chess on the Bahamut RPG Maker board. That one didn't get much feedback and discussion, but I guess I impressed some players. After that, I kept editing articles of making, uh, 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 of developing chess in uh, Bahamut's personal blog. Even though I'm alone in school, I still got friends on the internet, and some of which are still up in touch. We still meet and eat, work together for, from time to time. Because I make games, I need to drop whole uh, body characters. I joined the Manga Society in university, with the event to hold the Spark Anime Expo together, and acquainted some, uh, with some, um, acquainted some besties from different departments. My childhood has started making uh, games in the hopes to get friends, so now I really got a lot of friends because of the game. I come to realize that I really enjoyed the progress of making games, so whenever I open up the game engine, I'll keep I keep working till dawn. After all these years, I received lots of feedback and impressions for chess. Having seen all these messages and posts, I'm really touched by you guys. I've been hurt dearly because of one thing in real life, but that's why I kept this title in the back burner for almost a decade. Anyway, I really appreciate the, the, those uh, 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 encouragement and cheers from all of you guys. If it were not for you, I wouldn't decide to start making this remake. I can't be me without your support so far. Thank you for buying and playing the game so far. Now I'll do it for now. Huh. A black cat. Is that a cat from a shop? Meow. I want to get to know you more, Neon. You talked. Here's her profile. Wait, you're actually 12? What? Oh, I... F oh, I that was her age. I thought it was actually the birth year or something. Whoops. I thought she was actually uh, uh, super old compared to the rest of the party, but she's actually the youngest. Whoops. A full hardy try hard. Pulling, uh, putting full energy in everything she does. Whatever she's into, she'll always hone into its full potential. She'll... Gain the world's strongest title in the hopes that she can protect all she loves, including Zong, who's sort of f fencing a superior to hers. She's either silent or straightforward. When, <laughs> when questioning, she can most of the time point out the counterpart's core ideology and emotional drive. Although she doesn't know very well how to express herself and how to speak in a kindly manner, you can feel her true heart that she wants to care and protect for everyone. Her hobby is sword fencing and traveling. She's, uh, uh, she has a journey to, in order to become the world's strongest and, uh, and defeat the strong. She doesn't know about the art of metaphor. And even wrote words of cat's paws. Oh, how adorable, kitty. Now, I want to get to know you more, Neon. How the cat talked. What happened in the blizzard that night? The blizzard night, the day, right? That day, I met my master. And it's a turning point in my life. Oh, a cutscene. Why were you in maid clothes? For even back then. I thought you... Uh, uh, ha ha. The deck director finally lost my track, huh? I feel... Oh, maybe she was working as a maid for to pay off the debt. Tired. Am I going to end here? Wake up. Who's that? Wake damn it, wake up. Finally, you're awake. Where am I? It's my state. And you are. Name's Capulet. You saved my life. Yeah, I was in the middle of admiring the snow scenery. Suddenly I found a person lying in the snow. It almost freaked me out. I'm sorry. Just now, some deck collectors are after you. I've driven them away. Thank you. Thank you. Ugh. No need to thank. It's just merely four million. I can't express how grateful I am, Mr. Capulet. How should I repay you for all this? Well, that's nothing so serious. How about this? I need a housekeep for here. Will you work for me? Thank you. Thank you. Sir Capulet, thank you really. Ugh. Why are you crying like that? Master may have forgotten that. However, he's re he, he's uh, he's turned my life around so dearly. Uh, that's not about my master. Huh? Why is there a kitty? Is it from the shop? No, from the inn. I want to get to know you more. Check your profile. In the era where noblemen delegated their, uh, their right to run, uh, management to, to the government, House Capital kept full hold of their own territory's actual control. Standing steady against people's uh, 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 words and emotional gaslighting, he is faithful and unshakable for the decisions he himself makes through thorough thinking. His work is slow but detail oriented. On the slightest rare occasion, he'd still make minor mistakes. We're gonna sign his name on an A test paper. But in general, he's a calm and serious person you can get along with. His hobby is music and reading. That's why he has music rooms in every estate. The book he owns may. Uh, uh, the books he owns uh, uh, can uh, can rival that of an ordinary local library. He's a little too shy to show his emotions. Huh? Where did the paper come from just now? Kuro, Mao. I want to get to know you more. Is that so? What would you like to ask? Character profile. What? He's actually a d almost a thousand years old. The Prince of the Never. 
introverted, kind, and, and sensitive. He believes everything is meaningful in different aspects. Therefore, he tends to embrace new things at the beginning. Then, see for his own eyes slowly and finally comes uh, to, with his own s and conclusions. As time goes on, this kind of thinking helps him understand the world uh, clearly. He's not into uh, 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 outcome-driven crash courses. He's relatively passive in terms of relationships. Plus, he almost won't turn down anything. He's the type that can be into any race and ethnicity. It's just so obvious he's into lollies. Really? He's able to use visionary telepathy, which gives him the ability to read others' minds when looking in the eyes. The ability is different from mind controlling telepathy. It's hobby sword fencing. Uh, sword fencing and traveling. He came to the earthly world in the pursuit to experience various aspects of life different from never. He doesn't know how to turn down other people's pleas. Oh, Kuro. Here you are, huh? Now. I want to know you more, Neon. I ask anything. A simple then. As long as he's sure it's the right way, he'll go straight forward, full throttle, ignoring everything in his way. It's kind of hard to tell whether it's bravery or ruthlessness, but he doesn't possess much fear against challenges and hindrances. So instead of slowing him, these, on the contrary, help him achieve many things. Well, he's uh, 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 well, he doesn't f f fear. He's a fear not for most things. He's sensitive to caring when it comes to people's relationships. He's he'll show uh, he show extra attention in the way he loves. Outgoing optimistic, he loves chatting with others. All he cares about the most is making everyone around him happy. Only that he won't leak a single drop of uh, all those might uh, uh, so, uh, might works to others. Um, his hobby is camping and cooking. He's no telepath, but he can always figure out what everyone wants. The cooking skill was taught to him by selling up the telly in. He's slightly bad at thinking about sophisticated things. This paper. Oh. Turns out you got the inventory. Wonderful. Wait, all this is in the inventory? What? I didn't even use some of this stuff. Like the health booster. He doesn't even have skills. The scholar kit. Uh, uh, kitty. Pa a might have been borrowed uh, uh, ever since that incident. They said the gangsters were there for a debt, so they wanted to throw the brother into clearing, uh, 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 into a, a, a clearing, so, uh, so he could be hidden, that, and, and so he won't fall too hard. But when they came back, they found that the brother disappeared. Pawn must have been paying the debt, and never gave a fighting brother for all these days. And now we finally cleared the debt. It's the first time we've had the dish told me. It feels so refreshing. The big uh, breast here is also wonderful. Breast or bread? Huh? A cat. Rain. Meow. I want to know you more, Neon. On the contrary, I have a question for you, though. What method have you implemented to break through your own limit of voicing? In the past, he, when he was manufacturing the aircraft, he made a mistake in the calculation and accidentally had his own brother killed in the event. Due to this, he's always felt guilty. Plus, as he tried to save his brother, he's been involved... Uh, he was, he, he, uh, when he tried to save his brother, he got blasted by a flame uh, from the explosion, resulting in his body being severely injured and weakened. He would fall asleep whenever mentioning his brother. A lone wolf and service of a shy person. But he can keep a poker face in the wrong place when he feels shy. A hero in this professional field, but but is mediocre in others. He never acts before calculation and likes to execute things by the definite steps. His hobby is inventing and calculating, although when doing so, he wakes up whenever he's doing these hobbies. He's slightly shy to share what's on his mind. But it's also be a hassle of stamp cat paw imprints. Don't get yourself too tired. What is it? Now, I want to get to know you more, Neon. Well, ask away then. Character profile. 28 healer. Wait, I thought you were a deity. On the server, she's steel-hearted and scrupulous, but in fact, she has a wholesome self-hearted hidden aspect. When conducting things, Anzi is strict and well-organized, and tends to have every detail taken care of. She also follows her patients heavily, trying to offer her best medical care. Her hobby is reading and music, like reading various kinds of books in her free time, especially medical-related topics to improve her professional level. She listens to music a lot, to be specific, the classical and jazz genres. Doesn't understand much about how to wind down herself. Looks like you're no ordinary cat. Wasn't there some kind of basement here? The heck? Weird. Well, there's not much I can do here. Hmm. Seriously? I was hoping for... More than that. And also kept my gold from my save file. So extra will be based on my most recent uh, uh, save that I used to clear the game. But man, I was kind of expecting more considering we literally recruited the healer character. Man, that's a shame. Oh well. I wonder, is it possible to cont I Yeah, when I... Uh
Yeah, when I, I think when they left, they automatically went all the way to the, to that guy's house, which is kind of a shame. I was hoping to explore more of them. Heck, if I brought her to that battle with that with that one with that archmage, I probably would have had an easier time, wouldn't I? Yeah, they won't let me continue. It's a shame. Huh. I really wish I'd let you continue adventuring to some extent, but I guess not. Yeah. Just when we recruited her. And there's so many locations, too. Feels like there was quite a lot of world building, but they said this remake is actually supposed to be shorter than the original, and that. Well, there might be. Maybe there will be a sequel in the future where all six of them will have something to do, right? Though I really wonder, how's Auntie gonna heal people if she's stuck as a chest on the top of a waterfall? Hmm. That was a little strange. I, as for a bell system, I really wish there was a full weight mode so that time does not pass un uh, 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 does not pass when you're trying to choose your uh, uh, actions. I really wish they did that. That way, uh, it w I wouldn't have to worry about selecting things too quickly. And it would have made that boss battle a little bit easier. Not have to... Because if they, the bosses confuse me, it'd be very chaotic trying to figure out who I'm currently controlling and trying to select everything quickly to heal everyone. Yeah, well, that is pretty much it for chest. That was a pretty short game, huh? If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and maybe try the game for yourself.